Hey guys, so today I'm back with another video and I'm going to be doing a makeup routine. Today I'm just going to be doing a simple summer makeup look. When I do wear makeup, like out on a summer day, this is what I'm going to show you guys. Now, obviously I don't have anything on right now, but like I'm going to show you guys what I do. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get on with the video. <laughs> so before I start, I always, always put on chapstick. I just put on this like EOS or... And next step is primer. I'm using my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This is my favorite thing ever because I don't really like gel primers or like primers that you like put on your face. You know, this is like a spray, so it's like so refreshing. Like it just wakes you up. Oh my god. Next is eyebrows. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Oh god. Actually, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit more because that's, that's a little close. I'm gonna be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer. I don't know if this is gonna focus. In the shade taupe. Sorry guys, I had to do that off camera, but I just kind of like fill in like where my natural eyebrows are. Sometimes I extend it a little bit, but that's pretty much it. I now I'm just gonna set them with some of this like MAC eyebrow gel. Now onto the face. For face makeup, um, in the summertime, I tend to like not really use like foundations and BB creams, but the foundation that I do use is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I love this foundation so much, um, and I love this BB cream by Tarte. In the summertime during the day, it's hot and I sweat, and I really just don't like wearing a lot of like liquid products, so all I do is put on concealer because I just like don't want to like worry about that stuff but like during the nighttime and stuff I will wear like foundation or um, baby cream but just for the daytime I like to use concealer this is the NARS radiant creamy concealer I'm sure you guys have heard of it in the shade um, custard and it's literally the best concealer ever so my beauty blender is damp now I never like noticed my dark circles until like recently and then I just put it on like these problem areas I don't so I just cover them up I'm just gonna use my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is just like a white powder, so it's not gonna really like add any like color. Um, it just sets under the eyes, so I'm using my Beauty Blender and just dipping that in and just patting that under my eyes and on my eyelids to like make sure it doesn't crease or anything. For the rest of my face, I'm gonna use my Sephora Press Powder and I'm in the shade 24 Warm Beige. Looks like this and it's just matte powder and I'm using this fluffy brush from Icing. It's actually a pretty good brush and I'm putting this um, over my eyes to like add some color and then putting this on the rest of my face. Guys, I literally just hit pan, like just now. Okay, so I usually don't wear blush um, that often because I just, I'm not a fan of it, but I'm gonna do it because why not? And I'm using my Bobbi Brown um, blush in the shade Antigua. And Antigua means antique. I learned that in my Spanish class. I'm actually done with Spanish. Um, I took Spanish three this past year a freshman and I am done with Spanish now and I'm so happy. But then for bronzer, I'm using my Benefit Hula bronzer. You guys probably know this, it's amazing. I don't wear highlighter all the time, but I'm just showing you guys. NARS um, highlighter, and this is a cream highlighter, and it's in the shade Copa Copa Cabana. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Guys, I'm literally using the same bronzer that um, I use for my face, and I'm taking this this icing brush. I just put the Hula bronzer on my eyelids as an eyeshadow. Using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, it's amazing. It just adds like so much volume, like so fast. It takes like two seconds. So. 
And then last but not least for lips, I'm using my Kiehl's Lip Balm and it has SPF 4. I know, it's so much protection. This is such a great lip balm and when I put it on, it makes my lips look really glossy and it like looks like I have lip gloss on. So I just put it on my finger. To like set the makeup down, I'm using the same like Smashbox primer water because even though it says primer water, you can use it as like a setting spray. And yeah. In this video, I really hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful in some way. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe down below if you're new to my channel. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.